Hey everyone, it's Mrs. Handelman, and today we're going to tell the story of Passover. You may have seen my video about the Passover table and the Seder plate. So let's move on and talk about what happened. Now Passover has two very important people. The first person is someone we don't like very much. It's Pharaoh, and he was mean, and he was cruel, and he made the Jewish people slaves. The second person was Moses. Now Moses was a very great leader of the Jewish people. He worked very hard, and now let's see what happened. Long, long ago, in the hot desert of Egypt, the Jewish people were made to work as slaves by mean King Pharaoh. They had to work very hard from morning until night, building pyramids and palaces for the king. They were his slaves. They did not get much rest or food or water. As they worked, they sang this song. Bang, 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 hold your hammer low. Bang, 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 give a heavy blow. For it's work, 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 every day and every night. For it's work, 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 when it's dark and when it's light. Dig, 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 dig your shovel deep. Dig, 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 there's no time for sleep. For it's work, 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 every day and every night. For it's work, 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 when it's dark and when it's light. A great man named Moses became the leader of the Jewish people. He went to see King Pharaoh to ask for the Jewish people to be set free. Let my people go, yelled Moses. But Pharaoh was very stubborn and would not listen. Oh, listen, oh, listen, oh, listen, King Pharaoh. Oh, listen, oh, listen, please let my people go. They want to go away. They work so hard each day. King Pharaoh, King Pharaoh, what do you say? No, 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 I will not let them go. No, 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 I will not let them go. This made God very angry with King Pharaoh and he punished him 10 times with different plagues. And one of the ways he punished him was to have frogs appear everywhere. Here's Mrs. Handelman's frog. One morning when Pharaoh awoke in his bed, there were frogs on his pillow and frogs on his head, frogs on his nose and frogs on his toes. Frogs here, frogs there, frogs were jumping everywhere. King Pharaoh finally told Moses to take the Jewish people out of Egypt. The Jews were afraid that he would change his mind, and so they left very quickly. They did not even have time to finish baking bread for their journey, and so they ended up with a flattened bread called matzah. When Moses and the Jewish people got to the Sea of Reeds, 
they noticed King Pharaoh had changed his mind again. He wanted the Jews back as slaves, and so he and his men went to bring them back. The Jews begged Moses to help them as they had no boats to cross the sea. So Moses asked God for help, and God told him to lift his staff, his tall walking stick, wave his arm over the sea, and that the sea would split. As he did this, the waters parted, and Moses led the Jewish people to freedom. The sea closed up just in time, and King Pharaoh and his men couldn't reach the Jews ever again. Each year, Jewish people all over the world celebrate Passover and read the Haggadah, the story of how Moses and the Jewish people were freed from slavery. As you know, we also have a very special Seder plate, which has symbols to remind us of this story. I am so glad you came today to share the story of Passover with me. On behalf of all the teachers and Dr. Sayag and Mrs. Bortz, we thank you. And we're making another video where we are going to be singing songs, some serious and some fun to add to your Seder. Thank you for coming. I love you and we all miss you so very much. Bye-bye.